Sony PlayStation just shared when about we should expect PlayStation 6 release date. Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as crazy as it sounds, I'll be talking about PlayStation 6 release date. And by the way, this is not a rumor, not a speculation. I'll be talking about a legit information coming from Sony PlayStation. There's a document talking about potential PlayStation 6 release date, believe it or not. And it all has to do with the current Xbox Activision deal, because obviously Sony is complaining about this deal. Sony don't want this deal to go through. And well, uh, there's um, a, a paragraph in a recent document that Sony sent uh, to CMA recently uh, about talking about PlayStation 6 release date. Now, obviously, we don't have like a release date by date, but we've got some years when to expect. So obviously that makes uh, things very interesting. So the document I'm talking about um, is this. Obviously, this is not like a whole document. This is just a part of it because the whole document is like 22 pages long. And in this document, it says Microsoft has offered to continue making Activision games available on PlayStation only until 2027. So the document talks about that extra three years on top of the current Call of Duty marketing deal that Sony has with Activision. By the time SIE launched the next generation of its PlayStation console, which is likely to occur, occur around redacted, so they don't really say the, the date, it would have lost access to Call of Duty and other Activision titles, making it extremely vulnerable to consumer switching and subsequently degradation in its competitiveness. Anyway, let's go back to the, the whole talk about PlayStation, uh, when, where they say, by the time SIE launched the next generation console uh, of its PlayStation console, which is likely to occur around so this part is redacted, but they said that um, the Call of Duty deal would last until 2027. So obviously this paragraph suggests that the new console, uh, the new PlayStation console would, uh, well, is being planned to launch after 2027. So uh, we literally talking about 2028 or later, right? So I don't think we're talking about like 20, well, 2030, because I think that would be too late. It would be like literally 10 years after the version after PlayStation 5 launched. So I think that we're talking about 2028, 2029. 2028 sounds more likely, to be honest with you, because that would be like eight years after uh, the PlayStation 5 launch, right? I mean, Xbox Series uh, launch as well. And um, you know, I understand that current uh, current uh, situation is that um, well it's been going on for like two generations I think um, because if you think about Xbox uh, uh, Xbox 360 PlayStation 3 and then Xbox one PlayStation 4 era we had we had these are two generations that were very long because prior to these generations, we would have generations lasting for five years max. Um, but it was different times as, as well, because, you know, technology was actually really like advancing very fast. So, so it, actually that made sense. Like the advancements in the technology, like hardware technology, at least kind of slowed down a little bit. Now it's more about software and, you know, and th that kind of stuff, I guess. So, um, uh, like machine learning is going to be a big thing. But going back to the last two generations, so Xbox 360 and PlayStation uh, 3, and then Xbox One, PlayStation 4 generations, uh, we're talking about, well, Xbox 360 started the previous, previous generation, I guess. So that was back in 2005. And the generation lasted until, well, 2013, when uh, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 launched, right? Then the, that uh, generation lasted until 20, 
2020, so that was seven years. So, well, looking from PlayStation perspective, both generations lasted seven years. And for Xbox, it was like eight years for Xbox 360 and seven years for Xbox One, right? Now, these generations were uh, were so long for two reasons. Well, there, there was, well, this generation, like Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 generation, um, they didn't really had to release new generation, new generation consoles that early because they had the move, right? It was more about like, changing the gaming gaming industry by not necessarily uh, specking up the consoles, but adding new stuff, new hardware to the console. So uh, the, I guess the interest around surrounding these consoles lasted longer. And then I guess, you know, consumers were more forgiving uh, for like, you know, poor performance and uh, worse graphics in comparison to like PC because they had these new toys like Kinect uh, with Xbox 360 move controllers on PlayStation 3. Then uh, the, the last gener generation, PlayStation 4, PlayStation, um, Xbox One generation, we had mid-gen consoles, right? So, you know, obviously these, uh, you know, upgraded consoles made the whole generation to last longer because whoever wanted nicer graphics and better performance, they would just go with these, you know, higher specs uh, consoles. So I think something will happen this generation as well because uh, Xbox, uh, Xbox Series and PlayStation 5 consoles uh, launched um, in November of 2020. So by 2028, it's going to be like eight years like 2029 nine years. So I think that if Sony is planning to not release any new consoles, like not necessarily new consoles, but next generation console until at least 2020, after 2027, so at least 2028, that's like eight years long generation. And these consoles are not really going to, well, they will lose that last that long, but the technology, uh, towards the end of that of of this generation is going to be like much more sophisticated and stuff. So it makes sense to release these upgraded consoles like halfway through the generation, so around 2024, 2025, just like they did with PlayStation 4 Pro and and Xbox One X. So yeah, guys, like looks like we are uh, in another generation that is probably going to last longer um, because a it started a bit late because of a COVID and a lot of um, uh, a lot of games got delayed so like really maybe except like two or three games on PlayStation 5 we really haven't seen many uh, proper next gen games I, I wouldn't even say that we haven't really seen a proper next gen maybe Ratchet and Clank on PlayStation 5 uh, because it was taking advantage of uh, well, not like full advantage of PlayStation 5, but it was like, you know, at least good looking ray tracing, SSD and that kind of stuff, right? But at the end of the day, I think that uh, technology is moving uh, forward quite quickly again. Like, look what's, look what's going on with on PC right now. We've got these RTX cards that are very powerful. AMD with RDNA 3. RDNA 4 is going to be here on their market in next two years. RDNA 5 in another, no, next, next 20, uh, two years, like. So it, it kind of makes sense to make, like, more powerful versions of these consoles moving forward, uh, waiting for... Uh, next generation to arrive around 2028 right so um interesting information and um kind of it's kind of cool that we when these corporations kind of fight and that was pretty much the same with uh, apple versus uh what was it uh epic i think uh we've learned quite a lot of uh, interesting stuff about these corporations even about sony and and xbox as well and it's no different this time around really so yeah i'm curious what other new information we're going to learn from this big fight and drama and stuff right so uh looking forward to it and uh yeah looking forward to these mid-gen uh, console upgrades, I really do hope they will happen because, you know what, looking at the games even right now, 
like I'm playing um, Evil um, Evil West right now, 10TP 60. Uh, Callisto Protocol is coming very soon. It's going to be 60, but we don't know the resolution still. Um, you know, Gotham Knights, 4K 30 on these next-gen systems. Um, Plague's Tale, same thing, like 4K. Well, it's even 1440p 30, really. So, yeah, I mean, you know, these extra horse this extra horsepower on these consoles would actually come in handy especially when it comes to like ray tracing and higher frames and stuff right so we'll see how that goes but anyway guys that's the video thanks a lot for tuning in thanks for support i really appreciate it and i will see you all in the next one take care